Okay, so this is the start of a new vlog, and I'm ready to go. Um, just wearing my Mickey shirt, my jean jacket, some leggings, stuff like that. Just chilling. Um, I am. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I might have a hold at the library, so I'm probably gonna do that. And then I think I might also be going to Starbucks just to work on my work in progress. So that's gonna happen. Um, kind of having a bad hair day again today. I've just been like really annoyed with my hair lately and it kind of sucks, but that's just life. And so yeah, I have to go clean out my cup so I can bring it with me to Starbucks. Also, I've been reading Furyborn and it's really, really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. So I think I'm coming out of my fantasy slump, which is really nice. And oh yeah, also I have to upload a video today. So that'll be fun. Uh, new content. <laughs> So today is the end of Friday. I was able to get my ARC sent off to Chanel, which I'm so happy about. Um, she won my giveaway for that ARC of I wish you all the best. And I'm so glad that I was able to send it to her. And this was like my first time actually sending something from the post office, which is so weird. I actually typically send stuff from UPS, which is, I don't know, it's just easier for me, even though like last time it was a little expensive. But um, typically I do that, but I mean, she's out of state, so it's definitely gonna be a lot more expensive. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna send it through the post office because I'm pretty sure it'll be cheaper. And it was, and... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I am just like the most embarrassing person in the world. I could not figure out how to do the post office. It was just, it was not, it was not a good time. So, um, it's now late at night. It's actually technically Saturday. Um, I'm still debating whether I'm gonna go to work on Monday. We have Monday off, but also if I work, I get time and a half. So... I kind of want that time and a half, but, um, it won't really affect me really i mean <laughs> because i'm not gonna get that money until my next paycheck um and this one coming up is not gonna be that paycheck so um <laughs> does it really matter not not really um i i have to technically save for this trip that i'm going on and i'll talk more about it later when i have more of the details but basically it's for my uh, friend's wedding so yeah that'll be interesting um, I haven't flown on a plane for a few years so that'll be also interesting last time I did that I went to New Orleans which was super fun I have those vlogs I'll link them down below they're really good um, if I mean not to toot my own horn but yeah so that's basically just been my whole day um, had a lot of anxiety today which kind of sucked but um, I ended up watching the Reputation Tour on Netflix today, and I definitely felt a lot better after that, so yeah. I also went to Trader Joe's. Didn't film that, but I went. Also, you can hear that my voice is kind of going away. It's because of the Reputation Tour. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of my day. I think I'm going out tomorrow, just doing some stuff, going to Starbucks, that kind of stuff, and I will try to vlog a little bit more, and yeah. So I'll see you then. Also, I am reading Fury Born and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I feel like I'm definitely getting out of my uh, fantasy slump, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, keep you guys updated on how I'm feeling about the book. Good morning, y'all. I am ready for the day. I have a little bit of makeup on, but I don't really want to put anything on my eyes. Mostly because I feel like one of them is a little irritated right now. So I'm just like trying not to put anything on that eye. And I just did some like very light foundation and that's about it. Um, and yeah, so I'm just ready for the day. I was trying to find some books to listen to on audiobook, but I am currently being uh, restricted 
on Scribd because I've already read three audiobooks this month. So I'm gonna have to look on like some of my other like uh, Overdrive, Libby, stuff like that and see if I can find anything that I wanna listen to because I really need an audiobook right now. So I think I'm also gonna take Red, White, and Royal Blue with me. Um, I have been reading Furyborn and I'm really enjoying it, but I really wanna finish Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm like halfway through it. I feel like I really need to get to it, so. That's what we're gonna read today. Okay, so I did get a little bit of a haircut. There's not really any product in it right now, but this is what it looks like. And it's a little shorter, as you can see. And it's definitely a lot thinner, which is really nice. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it's thinner, but it definitely is, which is just like, I love it so much. So right now, I'm gonna read some Furyborn, and I'm gonna put my hair back up. I did have it up in a, uh, little half up half down thing but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um <laughs> and I definitely need to put some product in it but whatever it's okay um and yeah so that's just basically what I'm doing right now um I didn't get my hold from the library because it just didn't happen today so I'm gonna read some Fury Warn um I do have an update I am almost halfway through Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I am not really enjoying it. I really enjoyed it at first, um, but now that I'm like halfway through it, it's like dragging so hard. It's way too long. The pacing is just not it, and um, I really don't like that it's written in third person, but that's just like, that's a personal preference. I don't like contemporary written in third person. It needs to be written in first person. Um, and I don't really understand the reasoning behind the third person because it's just one point of view. So basically those are just my thoughts on Red, White, and Royal Blue so far. I would say it's about a four star, maybe a three and a half right now. We'll see how, if it improves or what happens. So I think I'm gonna listen to it on an audiobook instead of reading it physically. So we'll see. Guess who didn't do any reading? You know it's me. So I just got home and I have been basically just working all day. I worked at Starbucks for a little bit. Um, I don't work at Starbucks, but I work, like I take my work to Starbucks, so that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I've been doing that all day. Um, and then I had to go to the library because one of my holds was ready. And I don't know, I've been going back and forth on whether I wanted to actually pick this hold up or not. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna read it, but I picked it up anyway just to like have that option open. Um, but I still don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the library. I picked up quite a few books. I did show them on Twitter, but I figured I would also show them on here for those of you who aren't on Twitter. So here we go. Okay, so for the book that was actually a hold for me, uh, I got Royals by Rachel Hawkins. I was about to say I got Rachel Hawkins by Royals, <laughs> um, but this is a pretty thin book. It's really short, so I think that I might be able to read it pretty quickly. I think it's just about 300 pages. Oh, it's a little under 300 pages. Okay, um, we should be fine then <laughs> to be reading this. I think I'm going to save this for uh, June, which is in just a few more days. I don't know when this vlog will be up, but it'll probably be up sometime in June. Um, but yeah, so this is what I picked up for my hold at the library. I also have a few more things on hold, but they aren't ready yet. So I'll probably have to go back in a week or so and they'll be there. But for now, this was my hold. And then I got four other books <laughs> because I am doing the Biblio games in June. So I really want my team to win. I'm on the anti-hero team. Um, I'm like... I feel like that is literally me. Like, I connect so well to an anti-hero. Um, I just love them. I don't know. <laughs> the next one is Love From A to Z, and this is by S.K. Ali. And I am so excited to read this book. I've heard so many good things about it. And uh, it's just so cute. Like, look at that. Look. 
so cute oh i love the cover of this i actually wish that i owned this book i mean maybe if i like it enough then i will probably buy it but oh, i'm just really excited for this one the next book i picked up is kind of an older one ink and bone by rachel kane i hear a lot of good things about this series and it always sounds really good to me but i just never pick it up and so i'm really glad that they have it this time and i don't know it just sounds really interesting i don't know too much about it so i mean if you want to like kind of scan that, that would be pretty cool. Um, it says, Ruthless and supremely powerful, the great library is now a presence in every major city. Governing the flow of knowledge to the masses, alchemy allows the library to deliver the content of the greatest works of history instantly, but the personal ownership of books is expressly forbidden. So that sounds really interesting. Um, I hope I really enjoy it. I've been trying to look for more books that are kind of like about libraries and education and words and stuff like that I think that's super interesting so um yeah so I guess it's just like the Ravenclaw jumped out or something <laughs> the next book is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco and I'm really excited about this one as well. This is one that I've been like on the fence about picking up for so long. For a while it was like I think only like under $10. Like somewhere around like 7 bucks on Amazon. And I never picked it up and I kind of regret it. So I'm really excited for this one. I've heard some mixed reviews. But from a lot of people that I trust they really like it. So I'm hoping that I enjoy it as well. Um, and if I don't whatever it's no big deal. But... <laughs> I am really excited to try it out because I've been kind of going back into fantasy, which is really nice. So this will definitely be an interesting one to try out in June. And then the last book is another one I've been wanting to try out for a while, and that is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. And this seems really, really interesting as well. And all I know about it is that it's similar to Avatar The Last Airbender and has sort of like Katara and Zuko vibes, which was like my ultimate ship back in the day that was my otp <laughs> and i loved that pairing so so much so it feels kind of cool to like have a book that is similar to that pairing um i don't know too much about this book other than that and i don't really know if a lot of people like it or not so i mean it's kind of a gamble but it sounds interesting and yeah that's that's just like literally about it I also have a an audiobook on hold as well because I have been reading Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm about halfway through that book and I have the audiobook requested um, on, I think, Libby or something like that. I think. I think it might be Libby. Um, anyway, but I have that one requested and I really want to finish it in an audiobook because for some reason I'm just not like clicking with the physical book which is really annoying and like sad because I mean I have quite a few issues with the book like not anything like content wise just mostly like just the way it's written <laughs> um I really don't like that it's written in third person I really prefer first person for contemporary especially when there's not like multiple perspectives um and there's no multiple perspectives in this book and then I also feel like the plot is really dragged out there it's like just too long of a book and I don't feel like it needs to be that long so those are just a few little issues that I have with it and it's kind of not like a great book for me to read for some reason I don't know why it's really cute I love the characters I love like the message I love the like the plot or the content or whatever but I just feel like it's too long and I don't like this written in third person so those are kind of my only complaints but they're pretty big complaints so um yeah so I'm just waiting for the audiobook I think that I'll enjoy it more <laughs> as an audiobook so yeah that's just basically it and I'm going to continue reading the book that I've been reading for the past like two or three days and I'm in love with it that book is The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross I am currently let's see I'm currently ooh, 250 pages into it and I am loving it so much I finally passed the halfway mark and I'm getting to the end and I am loving this book so much. I actually did just request the second book at my library. So I'm super excited to have the sequel soon, hopefully. Hopefully soon because I really don't want to like put this series off too far. Um, I think there's only two books out currently. I don't really know if it's a duology or if it's a series. But I am loving it so 
much. Like, I'm genuinely surprised that there are so many, like, negative reviews for this book. Like, there's not so many. It has a pretty good average rating on Goodreads, but I feel like a lot of people were kind of, like, met about it, and I am so in love with it. It is so good, and I could totally feel this being a new favorite, and I'm just in love with it, and yeah, I really do need to fix the cover, though, because as you can see, it's kind of off-center. Um, I think I just need to refold it, as you can see. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, it's like, it's such a good book. I totally recommend it so far. I'm really loving the character. I can tell kind of maybe, like, where people might not like it because it is a little, like, slow burn. Kind of, like, the whole plot is pretty slow burn. Um, not a lot of stuff happens. It's not very action-packed. It's very, like, a quiet fantasy. But I really enjoy it. I'm genuinely surprised because a lot of my fantasies that I like have a lot of action, and this one does not have, like, any action. So I really do like it, and I'm really enjoying it, and I love the characters. I love, like, the plot. I love the, you know, magic system, or even just, like, the system of, like, how the world is set up is so interesting because there's not a lot of magic in this book but it's just so good. I think that this is such a great like non-magical fantasy. I mean there is some magic in it but it's not like a huge part of the book. It's like a very very minor 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 part of the book so <laughs> I'm really enjoying it and I totally recommend it and I'm not going to talk too much about it because I will talk about it in my wrap up but I'm hoping to finish this before the end of May. So fingers crossed. I have to tell you guys, I am seriously loving this book so much. Um, this one, The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. I have just about 100 pages left and it's also May 31st. So this is going to be the last book that I'm reading for May. I've had such an amazing uh, reading month in May. So anyway, I really love this book so, so much. Spoilers. But um, I am loving it so much. I did not expect to love this book as much as I am. Like I knew I was going to love it, but I didn't realize I was going to love it this much. And I'm just so happy. Like I feel like it was such a cool like coincidence, blessing, whatever you want to call it, that I ended up kind of putting down Furyborn for the time being. Um, maybe I'll talk about that later in the vlog or I'll talk about that in some other video, but I did put down Furyborn. I didn't necessarily DNF it, but I did kind of DNF it, but I'm, I think I might go back to it at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so glad I did because I ended up picking up this book and I love it so much. And hopefully it'll be in my May wrap up later on in the day. So Taylor Swift on the first fucking day of Pride Month, literally the first minute of Pride, she literally posted a letter that she sent to a representative about the Equality Act and I am literally, it makes me feel so good. Like as someone who's bisexual, it just feels so good to know that your fave like loves and supports you and is willing to be vocal about her support for you and is willing to go to bat for you. Like what other, like what other person did that? Like she literally did not waste any time like posting that, talking about it, being vocal and you know, getting other people to talk to their own representatives about it. Like who else is doing that? Like tell me who else besides Taylor Swift is doing that? No one, not a single freaking person is doing that, but Taylor is. And I feel like I'm just so proud and like lucky to stand such an amazing person. And like, I love her so much and you know, screw everyone who tried to tell me for years that she was a hateful homophobic person because jokes on you she's actually not and she loves and supports queer people so guess who's right and guess who's fucking wrong so anyway it's also the first day of the biblio games so i'm going to start off with the anti-hero group book and that is renegades by marissa meyer um, i'm gonna see if maybe reputation will work for listening to that while reading this um and so yeah i'm super excited haven't read this book yet and i am just ready to dive in okay so i'm going to my friend's birthday and this is what i'm wearing uh, this jean jacket is from Old Navy. This jumpsuit is from Rue 21. I actually just bought it for like nine bucks. 
and I think it's really cute. It's very like Mamma Mia-esque. And then here's my hair. That's what it looks like, my makeup. I don't have any lip stuff on yet, but. And then this necklace is from, this necklace is from Forever 21. So that's just basically my whole look. I really like it. I think it's very cute and I'm ready. I don't know what this look is, but this is the look that you're gonna see. This is the last clip of the vlog, and I'm going to start another one. I don't know when. I haven't made any more progress on Renegades. I did finish Finale by Stephanie Garber, though, and I gave that a four to five stars. I absolutely loved it, and I really need to read more of Renegades because ugh, your girl is already not doing so well for the biblio games i've only read like 260 pages or something like that and your girl needs to step it up so we're gonna be listening to an audiobook tomorrow we're gonna be reading renegades tomorrow and that's it so that's the vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one um also a reminder most of this month will probably be vlogs and that's just how it's gonna be so sorry <laughs> um i hope you guys like my vlogs <laughs> So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.